me see here. So Gucci Mane's former artists, former artists, uh, Enchanting has officially passed away. Now, if you don't know who Gucci Mane is, Gucci Mane is a rapper from uh, Atlanta. Um, been in the game for a very long time. Um, been in, uh, in and out of jail. Um, has a leg- has a, cal- a, a a very vast and gigantic catalog of music. Um, some may say that he is the blueprint of Atlanta rap, of a lot of Atlanta rap styles, so on and so forth. It's whoever, it's dependent on who you ask. So, uh, Gucci Man went to jail for, I think, about 10 years, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. Gucci Man in about, like, maybe, what I'm going to say, somewhere... Somewhere in the beginning of the 2010s, or, or or maybe like in the beginning of the 2010s, he he went to jail, and he was in jail for a long time. Uh, finally getting out of jail, you know, we're looking at a new Gucci man. He's not fat anymore, you know. Um, this Gucci man is 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 he's still kind of talking about drugs and you know get the gangster stuff, but you know he's more aware now. He's more, his eyes are open a little bit as a grown man and and somebody who has a child now and a wife and so on and so forth. So, um, Gucci man, he had 1017 in the past, but I mean, he, the only artist that I knew about, the only artist that I knew about from 1017 when he, his label was, uh, around back back when he was out of jail was Waka Flocka, right? So now once he gets out of jail, he establishes or rebrands his record label, 1017. Right? So as you can see here, all of these artists were signed to him. And I'm gonna go through them. Pooh Shiesty, Big Scar, Enchanting. Fujiano, Hot Boy West, K Shade, Roboy, Hood Rich, Pablo Juan, uh, Big Walk Dog, and there's like one other uh, Coach the Ghost, I believe that's, and then Little Wop. I think that's his name, Little Wop. So, his rap label was like, his rap label was it listed like a bunch of like rappers who talk about a lot of gangster stuff. You know, you you would even think this was like a rejuvenation of like death row, if you will, you know? Um and that's what they talked about. They talked about a lot of gangster stuff. A lot of gang a lot of gangster rappers, a lot of street rappers. One thing one thing you gotta know when you when you listen or when you are somebody who is involved with music when it is too much street stuff going on and you mix that with rap the outcome is going to be the same each and every time each and every time look at every single rapper that was signed to gucci all most if not all all are either dead or in jail you remember how I made the comparison to Death Row? If you go back and you look at Death Row, everybody that was on Death Row either went to jail, got smart enough to uh, uh, either went to jail, was humiliated, uh, uh, or, or died, or, um, or they were dropped from the label. A lot of the people that were on Gucci Man's label, some of them got dropped. But they're all either dead or in jail. And that's very unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Like, for instance, I used to be a big Pooh Shiesty fan. 
who shiest is in jail right now he is probably he probably would have been the biggest success story of 1017 just because of how much Gu- it looked like Gucci was pushing in far- as far as market marketability goes you know um and then the appeal of him being like the one of those rappers that uh did everything they said in the in their music cuz Gucci it, Gucci is a great example of somebody who did everything he said in his music um or you know from a past or, or from like a past occurrence or like a a a homeboy who who did it and he was right there like the eyes and ears to see everything so um just to circle back to enchanting enchanting was a very 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 talented female rapper very 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 sad that she's gone because i mean all that talent just gone man it's just gone that really tells you how that really tells you how demonic rap music can can be um to see everybody either dead or in jail and the fact that nobody nobody could pick up on a on a on a type of like any signs like who want who wants to bury their who wants to bury their child man because of rap music who why why who wants to keep up a rep in in a in a genre that is willing to take and 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 capture souls all for people to listen to all for some people to listen to your music when you're gone like who wants that who really wants to be locked in like that every year I get further and further away from rap music. It's because number one, I don't know anybody. The names just continue to get smaller in my brain to a point where I don't even care anymore. And every time, every time there's a, 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 a somebody who passes away in, 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 rap music I sometimes wonder I'm like what what could it have you know what could it have benefited somebody to be in this industry in which they are not knowing that they are almost in a way sacrificing their their life for something that won't pay them back in the long run because rap music at the end of the day don't make it don't make money it don't it don't make money for for you unless you're on like a big label it don't make money a lot a lot of rappers ain't making real money from this they're doing every other thing but rap music you see rappers doing podcasts you see rappers doing uh beats other things other than rap like rapping as their profession because it's not paying the bills it's not paying the bills you're not you're not getting a steady source of income from it um yeah it's very 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 sad man very very sad bro that she's like gone man like she's a very talented rapper bro very talented rapper and i know a lot of people will probably be like start blaming gucci main and and all of that it's like well honestly you could blame him but i mean everybody's adults all all gucci main can do is encourage people to stay away from doing that you know stay away from 
stay away from the streets and be a rapper full time. It's it's up to it's up to it's up to somebody. It's up to people who are grown. All these people are grown. Any one of these dudes who are in jail right now could have easily just said, you know what, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna do my best to stay away. I'm doing my best to stay away. I'm gonna keep my nose clean. I'm a, I'm gonna do my best to stay away. But I mean, at the same time, on the other on the other end of that is it has a lot to it has a lot to do with like man I'm I'm not making no money. I ain't making no money in rap music. So I mean I need to go ahead and like sell something. You know? I'm gonna probably end up back on I'm gonna probably end up back on my uh back on my block because I'm not really making no 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 chicken. So but like I said man, rest in peace to Enchanting. Very, very, very talented young lady. This is a loss for uh, rap music. This is a loss for female rap music. This is a loss for Dallas. The Dallas music scenes, because she, I believe she is from Dallas. So, uh, rest in peace to her.